Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we're going to be doing our market talk. So, if you guys are old to the channel, you guys are new to the channel, you might not know. But if you're old to the channel, you guys definitely know how this already works. We start from the bottom, we work our way up towards the 90 overalls. I go through, I give in-depth market analysis, what to do at each bracket of players, and since I start from the low 80s and go all the way up, that's pretty easy for everyone because someone's, you guys are all going to fall in those brackets. Now guys, the reason I'm on this page, I just want to show you this Patrick Mahomes. It's a nice 339 Patrick Mahomes sitting there for 3, he goes to 376, probably selling for 385 a night. I can't afford him. But, he's been up here for like 7 minutes now. Kind of impressive. You think, oh no, 3 minutes, my bad, it felt like longer. You know, you'd think he'd be gone by now. But whatever. Besides the point. Guys, if you're new to the channel, smack the subscribe button. You guys have been killing it with the support. We hit 3.2k subs already, which is un absurd considering we were at 2.1 last week. And you guys were at 1.8 like yesterday. But guys, thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. You won't regret it. We're doing great things here. I really appreciate everything you guys have been doing. And if you're also new, make sure to smack the noti bell to be notified every time. I upload a video because since my, my, a lot of my videos are time sensitive, you know, it helps a lot to get them when they first get posted. For reason being, a lot of them are information that you could be used at that time. Also, let's get 100 likes in this video. You guys have been consistently killing the like button, so thank you so much for that. Don't forget to go down below and like it and comment down below anything I missed in this video. I love feedback in that sense. Now, guys, let's start with how we usually. This, this Pat Mahomes is still here. You know, maybe it's not the best price, but that is definitely a sellable price. Whatever. Go down to 81s. Start at the 81s. In-depth analysis on the market. At first glance, overpriced. The market is like, so the market started here. It went like here, 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 and now it's like here. It's slightly above. I'm not a fan of it. These 80 should be going for 9K. The market's pretty high right now. Not not crazy about buying anything right now. 81s are 15K. So training is horrible right now. And the reason the market's so high, in my opinion, is because training. Weekend League is coming soon. Everyone's powering up their cards, creating their Marcus Allens and their monster cards, you know, their super cards with their abilities. And that is why, because 81s and 80s were the best training at a time, especially 81s. They were the best training option. Now they're the worst one. How, why is that? Because people need to buy them. So in my opinion, guys, if you're buying 80 to 81 cards, don't even bother. It's not worth it. If you're going to use them, fine. Use them for a little bit, but make sure you sell them. When do I envision this market changing, right? So, Weekend League's gonna hit after the first Weekend League or the first bundle? Depends. If they drop a new promo soon, which they're not going, like a new, a new bundle for the promo soon, the market will come down. But other than that, once Weekend League drops, a bunch of people get their rewards and packs, things will, you know, when the rewards drop for a bunch of things, maybe they'll go down a little bit. But as of right now, maybe when they drop the new superstars, Big Gurley, Dodell, I don't remember the rest. I did this video yesterday, I'm blanking. But when they drop those, they'll come down a little bit, but there won't be a dip for a little bit right now. But guys, 80, 80 to 81s are crazy ridiculous expensive right now. I don't think I'd touch them. Now let's go over to the 82, 83s. Hmm. That's expensive too. 21K for Demarcus Lawrence. I mean, if you're going to use them, I guess it's fine. But like, it's nothing It's nothing to brag about. Like, it's something to like be happy about. Let's see where the 83s are. 83s are 28K. Not horrible. Because you will get a decent player. I mean, at that point, I'm probably going to rock with 84 overall. Like, if you're going to buy a team right now and you have some coins and you have low coins, i probably rock with the 84 overalls because they're, like, right there. Unless they went up in price, I can check them out. 82, 83s again. These cards don't move much, though, so they only go down a few K or up a few K. So these are the safe cards. These are the cards that you can buy, and if they go down in price, okay, you lost, like, 4K. It's, it's, you don't have to worry about, like, the 87, 88s because they go down, like, 50K. You lose 50K. That's a bigger deal, you know, in my opinion. These cards aren't too bad. You know, you're not going to lose too much market value with these cards, although they are overpriced. They're definitely, like, inflated by, like, 10 to 20% right now. Now, 84 to 85s. They're at 38K. So, they're actually... They were just 31K. They're up, too. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I, I would buy Golden Tate and Philip Lindsay for my team in a heartbeat at that price because Philip Lindsay is a beast, just letting you guys know. He's one of the best running backs in the game, and he's very cheap, and he comes with built-in abilities. So 84 overalls, I mean, yeah, I'd probably rock with these if anything, but again, at this price point, these are crazy. Everything is crazy expensive right now. My personal advice right now on the market, guys, is to sell. I won't be selling because I'm competing in Weekend League. I need, the, I need the team. I need to be able to compete. But guys, if I'm confused, you guys, sell your teams. Get your coins. See, if let's say you have a 500k team that you bought for, right? 500k team. 
you sell it right now during like a 20% inflation, you're probably coming back out with like 700K, 600K depending, if you um, buy 500 standards. And then in a week when something drops, or they, they drop back down in price, you rebuy them again. Now you have 700K. That's why I've literally built my teams every year. 500K, the market inflates, you sell, you get back 650. You buy a team a week later for 650. When it drops, market inflates again, you sell again, now you have 800K because you just consistently keep taking advantage of inflation. And then you have 850K. Now, market dies dies down you buy a team you got like the same team as before but a lot cheaper then they go up again you sell it again now you're at a million coins and then before you know it, you have so many coins it's like a million 1.3 1.4 1.5 it just starts adding up and then promos drop before you know it, you're one of the best teams that's literally what i did last year and if you guys don't believe me anyone that rocked me since day one knows that's how i did my team last year and i literally showed it on video let's get to the next bracket these are crazy expensive 85s are where are they 85s 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 they should be around 50k yeah, they're up. Yeah, see, everything's up like 10K right now. They were 50K. I would not touch 85s. They're not good enough to be 58K. I'd rather go with the 86, 87s. Like, it doesn't make sense why they're so expensive right now. Obviously, the training, but like, even then, like, this is still really expensive training at all. It was expensive to start with for training. Like, these cars, Harrison Smith was going for a cool 60K like a week ago. Ezekiel Elliott was averaging around 65K. Trent Williams, I got his. I got him for literally 55K. 95K. Got him for 65 Richard Sherman is too slow to even be above 60k. All right, guys, the market is in its worst state that it's been in in a whole a whole seven days. But the point is, sell your team, sell it right now. I, if I wasn't competing, I'd sell Trent Williams for almost 100k. I'd make so many coins. This is crazy, ridiculous. 87 overalls. Antonio Brown. Okay, Antonio Brown's around the same. That's not a big deal. Michael Strand's around the same. That's because legend packs. Julio Jones. The 87s are actually down. Some of them. Zach Martin's way up. JJ Watt's down. Julio's down. Antonio Brown's down a little bit. Fletcher Cox is kind of down. I really want Fletcher Cox. Uh, Earl Thomas is around the same. Todd Gurley's slightly up because they did announce and well, they, they mutt leaked another mutt superstar version of him. So he's a little up. Luke Keekley's a little up because they did announce Luke Keekley. That makes sense. Odell's up. Clowney, Clowney's a little up, but that's because people are probably realizing he's a beast. Let's see. Von Miller's up, but and Pat Mahomes are on the same. Jalen Ramsey's back up a little bit. All right, so the 87s are iffy. The 80s, everything so far from 80s to 86 is way through the roof. 87s are, they're okay. They're still viable. 88 to 89s. We got Tom Brady coming in at 140. He was just 115 yesterday. This is unreal. This is unreal. Don't buy Brady. I mean, he's still a good quarterback. Okay, let me rephrase that. He's an amazing quarterback for 140K. It's if you're talking about training. I mean, this has to come down, right? Elway. I got him full. I slept him out for 11K, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. Made him into a full John Elway, and I was very happy about it. And then I played with him, and then I sold him. Now, Jerry Rice's piece. Um, I'm not entirely sure how the pieces are right now because I don't know how much it costs for the full card. DeAndre Hopkins is up. He was like, him and Bobby Wagner were 130 two days ago. Now, Bobby Wagner. So I could make so much money right now if I sold my team. I'm kind of upset that I'm not going to. Michael Strand's 199, 190. Yeah, Michael Strand was 165 after they dropped Reggie White. Harrison Smith was like 260 for a little bit. Um, Zach Ertz was also like 260. Let's see, Marvin Harrison, he's been around there. Ken Houston, Ken Houston's up. He was like 215. Mel Blount's way up. I don't even see him yet. Where's Mel Blount? Mel Blount, wow, 260. Okay, Khalil Mack is down from where he was, but also up from where he was. So he was 280 for a while. So he's down from that original price point, but he was also 220 yesterday. So now he's up to 250. I'd say that's a fair price for Khalil Mack. If you guys haven't watched the last video I just posted, it was the cards you need to have to compete online and everything, weekend league, whatever. That video involves Khalil Mack, and I promise you, he was on that list of three players that I think are unstoppable. Aaron Donald, 256, same price. Aaron Donald's very, very good, but I don't think he's Khalil Mack good. Like, he's good, but Khalil Mack just it hits different. It really does. Now, what's up? Marcus Allen, I don't care what. He could be a million coins, and I'd buy him. You don't understand what I've seen with this guy. He's in my other video too. Go watch that video if you haven't already. Marcus Allen, you could justify his price point at 500K. He is up though, because people probably realize how glitchy he is. And guys, let's hit the 90s, and then that's pretty much it for the brackets. Let's see what we got rocking at 90. So 258 for Derek Brooks, overpriced, not paying for that. Too crazy. Elway, 270. He was just two. I sold him for 215 like a day ago. Two days ago. I, well, I sold him because I needed to buy some players, but I wasn't that dumb. I kind of had a feeling he'd come a little up. The market's right here, so like it comes in wavelengths, you know, it's like this, 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 and then drops, and then this, 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 and then drops. So it's, at, it's like right here right now. It's at the top of the roller coaster, I start selling. 
and then it's gonna drop right down. So I wouldn't worry too much about prices being high. You're gonna be able to buy cards very, very soon. Reggie White isn't too bad considering he was 300K yesterday. And same with Jerry Rice, 288. It's kind of the price they've been going for. I imagine they'll come down though. He's not that much better than Marvin Harrison, and it's because he's also slower. So he'll probably bad. He'll probably come down to like 240 pretty soon. And then we got the limited times, which I'm not gonna talk on because obviously limited times are kind of weird because they have a quick sell value. So I'm not gonna bother with them. And then Pat Mahomes, I think a fair price for Pat Mahomes is 320k. I bought him for 380. That's because I want to play with him right now. But Pat Mahomes, I think 320k is when you safe to say you can buy him and you'll still maintain some value on him. Because right now he's kind of expensive, considering I've seen him much lower. Same with Stephon Gilmore, but Stephon Gilmore is a monster, especially with man being the main coverage this year for me, at least so far, until they fix zones. And guys, that's about it for this video. Limited time's going to stay away from because there's no point. And that Von Miller is a beast. I plan to pick him up soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this and you guys like the market talk, which it seems like you guys do because you guys really give some a lot of feedback, a lot of likes, and a lot of, a lot of everything when I post these kind of videos. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button. Let's get it to 100 likes. I know you guys can do it. You've been doing it all week. And also, smack that already bell to get notified every time I post. Make sure to subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think on the market right now. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.